So tonight I am making vegetarian chili. So I'm gonna make some cornbread right now. I bought this for no reason from Walmart randomly one day and now it's coming in handy. I'm really not feeling great. So this is gonna be real fun today. And we have cornbread. The chili is finishing up. Scott is cutting his chicken to freeze. The dinner table is set so well. Hey ya, uh, it's Saturday. So I didn't remember anything to post about the chili, which we had. What did you think of it? I didn't think there was a problem with it. That was good. Okay. And now you picked a game that we've never played before, so you have to learn the rules. What's it called? Avocado Smash, the fast-paced snack game that's a smash hit. Okay, the fast-paced game. I'm really on it right now, so good. All right, here we go. Oh, my eye Sw swept the floor. Is that the saying? I'm out of here. I, I, cleaned, I cleaned up in this game. Now I'm up six to three. Are you serious? <laughs> yep. Maybe you should start trying harder when we play games. I didn't know to try harder. <laughs> All right, it's Sunday, and we saw on the next door app that there was a grocery store near us that had eggs potentially. So, do you want to tell us about your egg experience? Basically, I went to we can we can post a screenshot of the uh, of the of the photo I took, but I went to the egg section. There, they have them like in doors, and on the door it says limit two per family. So I went in, took two. And when I got to the cash register, the the kid there who was coughing in his uh, elbow, <coughs> and complaining about his allergies, uh, said, "Oh, um, you can only get one." And I was, uh, it said on the door, "I can only get two, so I only got two. And he's like, "Yeah, well, it's new new today." And I'm like, "Are you drinking?" Another thing I saw I didn't tell you was. It also said that there was only you're only allowed to take four loaves of bread, and I, I only took one. But I just wonder if I would have taken four <laughs> if he would have been like, ah, oh, sorry, you can only take ten. I don't know. Also, you tried to get us wine, and apparently, well, yeah, the wine doesn't open until nine a.m. There, freaking Pennsylvania. Not the not the craziest thing. Well, it's Pennsylvania. And Mario is being like, a good boy. He's like, sir, sir, ain't nobody going to be there till, till nine. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then like, I looked at the clock. I guess it was totally not worth the tweet. Also, do you want to, I don't know. I'm going to go <laughs> before I start coughing. All right. Thanks for going food shopping again. So now what I'm going to make for dinner, but do you want to tell everyone what we're doing for lunch? It, it, it's something we. <laughs> huh? Can we get from Roma instead? Why? I don't know. It's so close. Okay. Roma's better. I just, I have, I'm nervous about getting takeout. That's all. If we're getting Roma, I want sweet potato fries. <laughs> How many are we gonna get? Well. <laughs> We did it. How was your experience with human interaction? It was weird. I think there's only one person working at the Domino's. Well, probably for safety reasons, right? Yeah, so that was interesting. So we got cheesy bread because you can't get Domino's and not get cheesy bread. That's just against the laws of Domino's. So we each pick out a pizza. <laughs> this is Scott's, it's gross and it has mushrooms. <laughs> Fungus, because I'm such a fun guy. And this is mine. It's the flatbread, and it's a white pizza, and it's divine. And I'm excited. Did you say it's divine? It's divine. Cheese pizza with my cheesy bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, don't tarnish it. Soil. Goodbye. In an unprecedented time in March Madness, we're switching up. Switching up, what? The order, and we're playing our game. I'm allowed to clean the table. It's what very noisy. And we're, play we're playing our game before dinner today, and I've opted to play cards again. <laughs> because I like winning. 
I always win. So let's play and watch me win. Oh god. <laughs> currently starting to make dinner um this recipe is like pasta some veggies some cheese baked in the oven i think it's going to be fairly easy the original recipe has meat we're just not putting meat well i'm just not putting meat in and then if i have time hopefully i can make these little oatmeal breakfasty things so he can take them to work tomorrow Hopefully. Here is the before. I feel like I've been really bad with the vlog at getting the before, but here it is. This is so simple. I genuinely hope it tastes good, but this is it. Preparing the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, I guess we just got our intro. <laughs> oh boy. It's a good intro too. Do you want to say what I'm doing? Uh, you're making some sort of banana muffin type thing. It's not a muffin. It's like a, it's like a rolled oat thing. It's not a mu like a muffin is. Why made do you of seem flour. so concerned? Because like a muffin has flour. This isn't a flour. Well, like, where is, is the flour? There's no flour. Wow! I can't believe you wouldn't give him the full attention. Cinnamon. So, I don't know how these are going to turn out, but only time will tell, as they say. So I guess, all right, here they are, and I'm going to put them in the oven for 30 minutes. On what temp? Uh, 350. Got it. Here they are. Should I try one? Oh my god! Ow! Don't do that. And there they are. Who knows how they taste, but there they are. How long did you sit for? A decent amount of time, I would assume. Or else you're gonna die. Okay, so I let these soak for quite a while. I find that the longer they soak, the better they and easier they clean. And I've been using this Zote soap lately. It was a couple dollars at Walmart. You can find this in the like detergent, laundry detergent section, and it works really well. Making dinner tonight. We got some chicken, some honey mustard, and salt and pepper, and mix it up. Okay, I decided I'm going to put this in the air fryer, so it's heating up right now. Only takes a second. Um, and I also did put a little bit of olive oil in here and mix it up. What do you think? What you doing? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. He's on you! Look at him! So He's so comfy and safe! He's not mad at all. <laughs> Let's test and see how this looks. Oh yeah! Well, let me do one of these. Oh! <laughs> yeah, those look good. So last night was a fail, for sure. I wound up not eating any of the chicken Scott made because I was not feeling well. However, he ate it and he won't stop raving about how much he liked it. And it was just honey mustard and chicken basically so I guess that's pretty hard to screw up anyway we also forgot to play a game yesterday which was the first time so I think we might play two tonight I actually went online and ordered games because I assume this is going to be happening for a while now and 
we don't have a lot of games as far as two player games. I feel like we have a lot of multiplayer games. So I found one on Amazon and then I ordered two on Target. But Target, I guess, is not shipping anything under $25 right now. And the two games came out to $15. So I actually grabbed a beauty tool that I've been wanting to try and I grabbed a lip balm. So going wild over here. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. It is Tuesday and I did see he bought frozen tacos when he went to the supermarket the other day. So he might do a taco Tuesday. That's what I'm gonna guess he wants to do. I feel like I've been fairly relaxed though the last few days. I mean, I'm very, very good at staying at home. Maybe too good, some may say, but I don't know. I just, I've been having fun hanging out with Scott, hanging out with the cats, getting a little extra sleep wearing leggings every day i mean so far not too bad i try to only take in so much news at a time i don't know about you guys but i like to watch phil defranco's channel i feel like he does a very good job at summarizing the news and kind of summarizing it almost in a very you know neutral way where it's not super one-sided or the other and he's really good at just like researching the facts and I find that comforting knowing that like, I don't know, it's not a super, it's not full of bias. That's what I like to do is I like to watch his channel once a night. Scott and I have been doing that. Like before this, I never really, it's not that I didn't really watch his channel, but I didn't really feel like I needed to absorb a lot of news, but I like to have an idea of what's going on in the world right now, personally. And I've been trying to get a lot of footage for my cat video, which I think would have gone up yesterday if my schedule is on track. You know, just trying to get content up that's a little bit different, a little bit relaxing. It's a really weird time. Let me know how you guys are spending your time. Is there anything you guys are doing that's like different than that you normally do? I guess the most different thing is I've actually been cooking and that we've been playing like games. But other than that, it's business as usual, working during the days, chilling during the nights. Like nothing super crazy right now at least. So I'm about to start making dinner right now. This is what we will be having for dinner. These are the, ooh, Scott did not get my favorite kind. These are not the extra crunchy kinds, but this is like, when I say frozen tacos, this is what we're eating for dinner. So I'm gonna make these and clean the kitchen a little. And then game time. Here that I bought. I did order games, but they are not here. So we have the games we have or cards. That's really the only options tonight. Can we play, can we play? Tech four? That we don't have that. It's at my parents' my house. Huh? I have tech four. You know, I almost ordered it and I was like, crap, my parents have it. And you asked them to save it for us. So I didn't order it. So you wanna play Connect Four on your phone as game one. Since we have to play two tonight because we missed last night. This is interesting. A twist. I did order three new games, people. Three so new games. That hopefully two people can play. Because I realize a lot of our games are multiplayer games and not two people games. I wish we had Battleship. That's a two player game. My parents have all the two, all my games. God, we haven't seen them since, in person, since your dad's, since when Uncle Moish passed away. So January? Well, I've seen my dad at work. Yeah, but I just. No, didn't we? No, we recently saw them, I feel like. No, we saw them for my birthday. Was it my birthday after that? All right, ready? All right. <clears throat> All right, this is what we're doing for game number one. That's two out of three. I won, and I said, I'm not I playing said this. I said, two out of three. if we're playing two games I tonight, said, we're not playing more than this. You can pick the second game too tonight since we skipped your game night. Second game. So we're getting, I'm either getting two points or we're getting one each. Fine. Wow, that was beautiful. Right now, I'm up eight to three. Let's go. Fine, so it's eight to four now. Do you want to go put the tallies on the board? The March Madness board? I'm amazing. Do you even remember what the last game you won was? Because I don't. It's been so long. We've been watching that. Um, tell, we have another. I'm telling you that that should be should play another, and then that'll be for the first point of the night. Eh, I like it this way. Then it's over? Fine, we're going down to the lift. I wanted to tell everyone, we've been watching The Tonight Show at home every night. It's one of our things we've been doing for entertainment. I told them earlier we had been watching Phil DeFranco. Are there any other traditions we've set up during lockdown? 
Please ask the question again where your phone was. I didn't get it full in video. I was trying to say, are there any other traditions we've made over the last two weeks besides we have our game of the night, we have to be You now use a, a ton of eggs to make unnecessary things that you don't like. Okay, I wasn't crazy about the banana oat muffins or whatever they are. Nor were you crazy about the... The blueberry ones. <laughs> but I really did like the banana nut and you bought a new box of banana nut. Correct? Yeah, I I like these. Actually, what I was gonna do is I think they're better in the fridge or freezer. Ooh, you might be right because I don't like how mushy they are. Maybe I would like them better hard. Mario has spent eighty five percent of his day in this exact spot. I did forget to show you guys that I did finish doing some sponge cleaning, and I might start some brushes because I am drowning in dirty brushes. Wednesday. Uh, it's about four o'clock and I didn't really eat a huge lunch. So I'm gonna make an early dinner for myself. Scott wants to have his leftover Domino's for dinner. So I'm going to make myself this. I've done this a couple weeks ago at Aldi. This is tomato and mozzarella tortellini. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's good. This is what I'm gonna eat. And I really hope it is good. Yeah. I've done a very bad job documenting today. Probably the worst of all the days. Do you want to see you sitting in my spot? No, I don't want to sit in my boat. I wish I had gotten the reaction of when you pulled out the chair and it was, was and like, did a yelp. It's a little heavy. <laughs> it was a yelp. Give me a scratchies, give me a scratchies, please. Give me a scratchies. This video should be going up the day after the relaxing cat video, so you're a fan of the relaxing cat video? Do you want to hype it up and tell them about why they should watch it? You have climbed mountains. You have exceeded expectations. You are one with the Final Cut Pro. One with the camera, one with the cats. So it's my night to pick a game. What are we playing? Whatever you want. The same card game I'm obsessed with. You didn't let me finish my oh, thought. I thought I was that was saying, the, it sounded like a period. I was saying that all of that combined creates the greatest masterpiece of all time. That's what you would deem the A day in a life, I'm not done. I'm <laughs> the period. Creates a masterpiece, period. A day in the life of my cats. End of sentence. With relaxing music, you forgot that part of the title. I didn't forget. Okay, we're gonna play the card game and I'm gonna win again. Yay! Second. <laughs> I am now nine and four. Nine and four. Can you turn the camera? I'm gonna cry. No, I'm zooming in actually. Can we see a real tear? <laughs> no! Not again! Oh, I snored it. All right. uh, I should. Come on. Okay, now we're gonna watch Phil DeFranco, our, our nightly TV time. We just had a couple deliveries made. Chewy and Amazon, and I know that leaving it out in the sun helps kill the virus, but I'm just gonna go outside and spray a little. Why not? I just got a package, and no, it's not Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I ran out of something, and I thought I could live without it, and I was wrong. I had a $50 gift card that I got for my birthday. And why spend it on things that you want when you can spend it on something that you need? Are you talking to me? Talking to the universe. There she is. My <laughs> acne treatment facial oil. <laughs> Getting wild in here. Uh, hello, this is Sunday Riley UFO oil. Uh, I thought I could live without it. And I was incorrect, so... I only buy the half a fluid ounce because this is $40 versus $80 for the full ounce. And uh, 
Price difference isn't enough for me to fully invest in a full ounce. Hey y'all, it's back in my life. So tonight we are having a birthday dinner for Scott's sister. Oh cool, we got our coronavirus guidelines in the mail. So her birthday's today, so we're gonna do another online birthday party. It seems that she's also having an Italian theme, so we're gonna make some pizza bagels and mozzarella sticks, because we fancy like that. So I finally finished washing my face, br my face brushes. Took a couple days because I wasn't fully in the zone, but now I'm gonna do my eye brushes. And for that, I use the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. Oh. Here is our Italian meal for dinner. Happy birthday, dear Ali. Happy birthday to you. Are you gonna blow it out? This is my first time in a car in two weeks, literally. I have not been in a vehicle. Literally. Uh, it is Friday morning. I took a break from work and we're gonna try and food shop really quick. I have not done anything in two weeks, so this is really weird. This is what it feels like to move. We actually have a plan of attack. This is crazy. This is called a hill. <laughs> we have a plan of attack. Scott is doing the perimeter of the store, so produce, meat, dairy. And you go up. Whoa. And I'm doing the aisles. Hopefully that makes it go faster, especially because I have to get back to work. And I don't want to be in this store long at all. I guess we'll see you after I let you know how it went. Well, we did it. It took about almost an hour, but we did it. But we got all our food here. I think my favorite part was there was one very long line for the one register. And then eventually they opened two, but there still was like one long line and you were supposed to go to which register was yours. Except some dude just like completely in front of Scott who had the most full overflowing yeah. car ever. And I just laughed. And he was bragging how he was going to be back on Friday. Yeah, so it, was, it wasn't worth getting upset about. It was more entertaining than anything. In my experience, there was not a lot of soup to choose from beans were kind of picked over. There were paper towels, a couple paper towels, no toilet paper. I found antibacterial wipes for like your hands, which is basically hand sanitizer, just the more wasteful version of it. In your experience, so you did the perimeter. Yeah. What was your experience in the perimeter? Fruits and vegetables fully stocked. The meat section was, I would say, about half stocked compared to I went the last time that the giant it was like not stocked at all. And then the eggs, there was slim pickings, uh, but there was eggs. That'll probably be gone in, in within an hour. Cheese, butters, all that stuff was plenty stocked. I feel like cheese, dairy, fruits and vegetables, that stuff is constantly restocked because it goes bad so quickly. So I feel like they're more prepared for that but it's the non-perishables and paper stuff that doesn't come off the shelf, so they probably don't have it like on like a certain back yeah, order. Yeah, that's not sitting there. <laughs> yeah, so I am glad I don't have to do this again for probably another two weeks. All right, now back to work. So tonight I have a Zoom meeting with some of my college roommates and <laughs> I decided I was gonna make myself a drink. So like, vodka and Sprite's like my simple go-to, except this was in the back of our free, in the back of our fridge so it's like frozen so it like exploded when I opened it so we're off to a great start tonight I am going to be making chicken parm I haven't made chicken parm in a really long time but one of the few meats Scott was able to find last week was thin sliced chicken breast and I usually like to use that to make the chicken parm because the recipe we have says to like tenderize it and make it thin anyway so I just use the thin sliced and then we might play a new game I bought we might let's see how the rest of this night goes honestly just Hold say on, hi. Here. Hold on, I can't see my. I I. I can see you. I can see you. I got. I know, but I. So. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> what is? That? Just because. Oh wait, I just did something else. Now, Veronica, you're big because you're talking. Bye. Ah! Oh, pizza. now you're. And now you did it because you're talking. So like switch oh, screens. Oh my Am god. Am I messing up your video? Sorry. No, you're good. I just didn't know if you wanted to say hi. Hi. Okay. You might remember them from the Rhode Island vlog. 
Okay, so right now I am making the chicken parm. So I'm making the chicken. I'm gonna make a little pasta. I'm gonna make a little garlic bread. We're gonna have an actual Italian food thing tonight, unlike pizza bagels last night. And here is dinner. For the garlic bread, I just put a little bit of margarine and garlic powder on, toasted it. I have a little cheese to mine. This chicken parm recipe I've made a lot in the past. I really do like this recipe. I made a little pasta for the sides. Super fancy. Just waiting for my dinner friend to eat with me. <laughs> and uh, we will commence dinner. Scott loads the dishwasher. I bought this game on Amazon. I'm gonna try it out. I was looking for specifically two player games because there are two of us here, and this is supposed to be a strategy game, and it had good reviews. So we're gonna try, we're gonna call it Tarji. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but I'm gonna read the rules and try to figure this out. So today wasn't supposed to be part of this vlog. This is supposed to be part of the next vlog, but I didn't want to leave everyone hanging regarding this game. Why are we playing this game right now? Because we were trying to learn, and somebody fell asleep. Let's try to figure it out. Test around so my win doesn't uh, doesn't actually count. However, I enjoyed this game. What did you think of it? Not bad, not bad. It's, it's a little tough to kind of get the hang of it, but once you get the hang of it... There's, well, there's, you're there's a like person who likes it. Settlers of Catan a lot, and I was trying to find a two-person game that had the same kind of vibe. You did it. You did it. It's interesting. It definitely... it. Once you realize the strategy, I feel like then you realize what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so something tells me if we had really fully understood the strategy yeah, at the beginning. Different things. So that's why yeah. this one doesn't count towards the scoreboard. But just for the, so the vlog knows, I did win by one point. But yeah, this is the end of this vlog because this vlog was not supposed to go to today, but it did. So yay!